Yeah. yeah. Right, Mirror Lake State Park, right? Yes. So this that means that you guys can come here anytime with your families. It's open to the public, right? And we are not only going to canoe today, but we're also going to go on a hike on the... Get it all the way in. 400, no, Echo Rock. Echo Rock Trail. There's lots of trails in the state park, but we are going to visit Echo Rock. Is it the shortest okay, trail? It is. Oh, it's That's one of the shortest trails, yes. <laughs> All right, now boys and girls, when we go on field nature field trips together, our job is to be nature detectives. Detectives, that's right. So when we're on the trail together, I know we were just walking across the parking lot and chatting about all different kinds of things, but when we're on the trail, our job is to find all of the clues that nature's leaving behind. So everyone be real quiet for a second. We are going to listen on the trail. There's one point where we're going to listen for our echoes, but that's not till the middle, so we won't try that yet. Um, we are going to look. Oh. Good, see? When we're in nature detective mode, we get to see all the cool stuff. That's awesome. So as we move along the trail, boys and girls, we're going to look and listen, but there's another really important thing I want to tell you. If you can't see my face, then you're not in a good spot. Stand up and come close to me. We're almost ready to begin. Stand up and come close. Plants here. Mm -hmm. So this plant that's making its pretty purple flowers is a friendly plant. It's a wild geranium, and we're going to see those all over the trail today. So this is a wonderful native Wisconsin plant. But there's also that jack friend. Are you ready to see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the cool thing about jack is that he likes to hide out. And then he just has the most wild look for a flower. We're used to looking at flowers that look like this, right? But Jack has the wildest pattern to him. I'll show one side of the trail at a time. He hides under kind of this umbrella. Are you both guys looking? I can't see. I can't see. It. I can't see. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll turn. I'll turn it around. Just wait. And I'll just let wait. The other go guys back. See it. Go back okay. to your feet on the edge. I'll show you. Back to your feet on the edge. Side. Have you ever seen a flower that looks like that before? No. Yes. All right, let me turn it so that you guys could see now. It's kind of hiding. See how it has three leaves? Yeah. Yep, and they're big. Oh, there's a little spider crawling on it. So pretend. Yeah. No, look. It's a spider. All right, you ready to see on this side, guys? Yeah. All right. I'll turn it if I can. Do you see how it's purple under there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and do you see yeah. how that has a part sticking mm -hmm. up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the jack flower. So if you look carefully, there's one, a smaller one. Yeah, look, right in front of you guys. Do you see? Do you see how it has the big three leaves? There's a smaller one. Can you see it? It looks kind of like a pitcher plant that likes to trap the flies, yeah, you know? But it does You guys are going to stay right on the edge of the trail. The I'm going to step into the plants, but before I do, I'm going to look for any harmful plants, and I don't see any, so I can step over here. Guys, check this out. When we were walking past, some of you guys were like, oh, look. Why did this catch your attention? What does it look like it could because be? Because it's a fawn down and something could live under there now. Oh, okay. So you got two interesting big points. Point. First of all, how did we get this big mound here? What happened? You have to look all around big, to find the clue. It's a close thing to the tree. <laughs> Good. You were looking carefully. Look, boys and girls, it's connected to this tree trunk right here. Okay? So this tree used to be standing up straight like all these other big tall trees. But sometimes in nature, things will knock a tree down. I'm sorry, the bug spray is getting my throat a little bit. <laughs> it is good. So let's think about some of the weather that we had this spring. What did we have a lot of? I'll give you a hint. Wind. Wind. Yeah, some really strong wind. So sometimes a tree will get knocked over by the wind, and the part that's usually hiding under the ground will pop out. So what part of a tree is usually underneath the ground? Fruit. Yeah. The stump. The roots. The roots of the tree. Good. So raise your hand if you can see some scraggly roots. 
right? All of these are the roots of the tree that are normally underneath the ground. Now, what do roots do for a tree? Tell me one thing it helps the tree with. Why does this tree need roots? Do you know what the roots are for? I can give it water. Yes, the roots are how the tree drinks water. Very good. Anything else? Yeah. It, then the soil um, mixes into the water so it makes food for the tree to grow. Yes, very good. There's minerals that go into the roots and different nutrients it needs. That's really smart. Let's think about this. What is the last purpose of the roots? The roots are underneath the ground. The soil. What do you think? To help it live. Yes, and? Keep the water under the ground and give it to the tree. Yes, and you think the roots also help hold the tree steady? Kind yeah. Of. Yeah, it helps because, do uh, you see how big a tree is above the ground with all its branches? Yeah. That's how much roots it has under the ground. Okay, so the roots help hold it steady. But this one, the roots did not hold it steady enough in that big wind and it fell over. So maybe something could make a home under there. Maybe a fox. Foxes like to burrow. But I'm thinking of an animal, yes. Everyone do this. Give yourself funny ears. Okay, and do this. Then go on. Bunny. <laughs> bunny. Yes, bunnies might want to burrow under there. But if a bunny's going to make its home here, it also needs two other things besides shelter or a home. Food is water. one of them water. And, and water. Good. So water we'll have to find. I don't see any quite yet. Uh, what do bunnies eat? Carrots. Everyone always says carrots. But bunnies yeah. who are pets eat carrots, right? In the yeah. wild, in yeah. nature, they grass grass. And leaves. Yeah. Grass. they have to eat like grass and leaves. So point to some grass and leaves. You think there's enough bunny food around? Yeah. 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 So for look at how much there is right They're there. They're in good shape. They're in good shape. Good. And then pretty soon we'll see that there's a lot of water pretty close by. Oh, come on, bird. Morning. Morning. Birds up. Morning. Come line up, boys. Ooh, it smells like coffee. Or it yeah, does. I, I can smell, smell it. Too. I can smell hot dogs there. What is that camping there? I'm sorry. Okay, boys and girls. I stopped here because this is a very special spot, and in the early spring, out in front of us. There is a pond. Do you see any water right now, though? No. 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 Dry now. Right. Some ponds only stay in the beginning of spring, and then the water dries out. And that kind of makes a safe place for frogs and their babies to grow up. Now, what are frog babies? That's had Right. But the water's all gone now, so that changed really fast. Um, but you can kind of see some of the flat spots, and it looks a little bit wet in some of the places. You can tell there was more water. Yeah. Oh, that tree thing looks like a crocodile. Oh, interesting. That's fun. I like to look for shapes in clouds. Raise your hand if you've ever done that. Shapes in the different clouds. There's going to be a rock today that we walk past, and it looks just like an animal's head. You have to decide what animal that you think it looks like. Okay? So we'll do that a few times. <laughs> the other reason we stopped here is because one of the plants that is not friendly is growing right here. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. So poison ivy also has three leaves. But it has a red dot in the middle. But it has a red dot, you're right. So poison ivy can be low to the ground. This one right here is poison ivy. Can you see that? But it also can be <laughs> higher up. This plant right here is poison ivy. Okay. So count the leaves with me. Ready? One, two, three. So there's a rhyme that helps you remember that poison ivy has three leaves. So repeat after me. Leaves of three. Leaves of three. Let it be. Let it be. Good. That means don't touch it. So here's some other clues because Jack, the jack flower also had three leaves, right? So when we're looking at poison ivy, it does have a little bit of red where the leaves, three leaves come There's together. There's a flower dust down from that poison ivy plant to yeah, the I left of it. it. Oh yeah, right down there. So you can see that the jack flower, the leaves are a little bit more round shape and bigger. 
right? And they have stripes on them that look a little bit different. For the poison ivy, here's the other part of um, it that you have to remember. Have you guys talked about symmetry in math? Yeah. yeah. Where two sides match just the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The leaves of poison ivy do not have symmetry. They have a line down the middle, and the two sides of the leaf do not match. So that's another clue um, that the two different sides of the leaves are not the same shape. Okay. So this one right here, three leaves, no symmetry, it's poison ivy. Back them out. Yeah, this is not right. Because it's the ice cream. Yeah, you're fucking. You guys are awesome. You saw some lichen? Yeah. You remember lichen? That is lichen. That is great. That is lichen pain. All right, we're stopping here because I want to see if you fall for a trick. Poison ivy also likes to climb up the branch, the trunks of trees. Raise your hand if you see a vine going up this tree. All right, so let's figure out if it really is poison ivy. What's our number one clue about it? Show me with your fingers how many leaves it has. Three, right? So I'm looking carefully. There's no poison ivy here for me to step on. Let's count these leaves. Can you guys see this one pretty good? One, two, three, four, five. Is that poison ivy? No. No, I can't touch it. It's called Virginia creeper. So it looks a lot like poison ivy, but it has five leaves. So you can see that there's quite a lot of it over here. One, two, three, four, five. And it grows in a lot of the same places as poison ivy, but it will not give you a rash. It's called Virginia creeper. It creeps along the ground. It creeps up trees. So we're going to see, see a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going up. way up that tree. Great observation. It's going all the way to the top, trying to get to the sunlight. So we're going to see a lot of plants. They kind of. I'm going to give you a clue about their name. They kind of look a little bit like feathers. Feather plant. Do you like feathers to you? Me and my grandma call them feather plants. Yeah, so the, the, the plant's name starts with the letter F, just like feathers starts with the letter F. And the name of these is a, you do you know it? Fern, you're right. Well, I didn't know it because my mom just told me. Oh, you got to help her. These are ferns, and there's a, a lot of different shapes of ferns. And they are really ancient plants. They were around when the dinosaurs were alive. And they are really um, neat, interesting kind of plant. They don't have a brown bench that the people are not sitting on. It's kind of behind the tree. So if you have some extra energy and would like to run to that bench and wait at the bench, then you may run. Wait at the bench. Put that wing in. Well, sometimes they might dip their wing in the water, but what they're doing is they're hunting for bugs that are flying at the surface of the water, and they catch those bugs. And they have nests in the cliff that's below this um, this area, and so they're bringing those bugs to their babies. Oh, could we try to look for a nest? Ready, please, you come close, though. You guys are going to be like the rocks. No, no, up here. Yep. Right here. Up here. So we'll pretend that you guys are the rocks that are about that are on the other side. But you have to look at me. So you can stand up if you want, or you can crouch down. Either way, those rocks are tall, so you can stand up if you want. You got to be able to see me. All right, we'll pretend the water is down here, and that I'm up on the ledge where we are right now. So when I talk, every time I talk, sound travels out of my mouth in a wave. Do you guys know that sound travels in waves? Yeah. Yeah. So every time you talk, it's an invisible wave, though. You can't see it. But I'm going to show you what the wave looks like. So everyone look at my hand. If I say a word like hi, the sound wave is going to travel out of my mouth and it's going to wave its way across the water. We can hear those sound waves right now, right? The sound wave from the word will go across the water, and then when it gets to the rocks, watch what's going to happen to my sound wave. Everyone look at my hand. It's going to bump into the rocks.
good trail to push on? No. No. <coughs> We're going to take slow steps and give each other some space, but around the rock, we're going to get pretty close to the rock um, wall. And so you can, will be able to just reach your hand out and touch the rock. And I, I want you to do that because if you feel the rock, it gives you a clue about what kind of rock it is. If you rub your fingers back and forth a little bit. You're going to get a clue about the, this type like of Like sandstone? Mm, I'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now, there's rock? also some living things on the rock. Like Do you think it'd be a good idea just to scratch this moss and make it fall off? No. No, because no, it's alive, right? How about these ferns? Just pluck them out, whatever? No. 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 no, of course not, right? These are living things. There's even some of this grayish, greenish stuff that is alive, too. Moss. Wait, I remember it. Right, it's not the, moss, the though. the Harchie Center. Right, we learned about it at the Harchie Center. Its name starts with an L. Someone mentioned it earlier. It like Lichen, good job, great remembering. So there's moss and lichen and ferns growing on this rock. And Cooper even said, hey, it looks like the trees are even coming out of the rock. Right, and then they send their roots, look at these roots. They send their roots on top of the rock because like they can't get down in, right? It looks that's like that out here. Yeah, it can be like yellow lichen. Cool. Like cool. We walked a little down. Yellow, green, green. 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 It looks like it's like a We'll talk about that writing in a minute. That isn't that isn't um, from ancient times. It's people who are just making graffiti, which is not. Now you know why. Look at the colors. Yeah, it's from writing. Uh, no, no, but easily by wind and rain. Mm -hmm. So you can see, look at these spots. 
This is from when water was pushing rocks um, against the rock and it made these holes. And sometimes the rock even makes uh, looks like it can make shapes. Like, look at right there. Do you see an animal head? Yeah. Wow. It looks like a lion. It looks like a dragon. It looks like a lion. It looks like the rock. The rest of the class we can going to get a class photo. Oh. Yeah. Then, um, do you see the other gigantic plants down there? Yeah. Those have a, a skunky smell and they're called skunk cabbage. Those no wonder they have a yeah. I thought they look like cabbage. Yeah, see, they're skunk cabbage. I see. Those big ones on the side. Yeah, we'll see the other side. You can tell my friends. Yeah. There's a lot across the stream. There you go. The ones on the side of the stream that have the big leaves. Why is there a path down there? Hmm? Why is there a path down there? I found the jack again. So what is, what is it? here, but I wanted to show you that this umbrella plant is... Look at the pretty white flowers. Mm -hmm. I told you. So it does look like an umbrella. It yeah. does look like an umbrella. You know, in nature, you can use your imagination so much. I like to pretend that fairies have a party under here. It's a perfect spot for a fairy dance party. And the, the flowers are blooming just this week. It's the only time we'll have flowers on it's not really an umbrella plant though. It's called a yeah. May apple. Well, this plant, I don't normally pick plants, but I want to show you this. It has something special. You see it has tiny white flowers? Yeah. yeah. But it also has little fibers along the plant that act as Velcro. Um, raise your hand if you want to be my helper for this. Okay, stand back a little bit. Everybody watch uh -huh. his shirt. Put your arms to your sides. Right. Oopsies. You okay? Yeah. All right, watch what this plant can do. Ready? It's like a Velcro plant. Someone else want to try? Yeah, yeah. can I? I want to. Can I? What? <coughs> what? I want to try. I want to swap. Crabs or cocoons or anything like that. So, we saw something this morning that was great. But part of it's gone. But part of it is still there. So look under here for webs and cocoons and anything like that. There's a big web here. Just look at it. It's over here. It's Spider-Man. Spider-Man made it. Whoa! What the fuck? Can I hold it to the back? I'm moving in here. And then we're on the other side. That's fine. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I can step into a deep fly, but not. An egg and what does it turn into? Caterpillar. 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 Excuse me. Caterpillar lives and lives on greens and gets bigger, forms a cocoon, chrysalis, and then what? It's a butterfly. I know. Excuse me. It's amazing how that caterpillar goes into the cocoon and comes out as a butterfly. The dragonfly life cycle is similar. It lays an egg in the water and it hatches, but it turns into a dragonfly nymph, like a bug with legs. And it lives in there for three years sometimes. And that, uh, I eat too fast. <clears throat> and then it crawls out. And sometimes it crawls out on a board like this. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it. But it's up. And the bug sits on here on the board. The back opens up and then the dragonfly comes out. But then it has to sit there for a while because it's been all crunched up. It just spreads its wings and pumps fluid into them and then has to sit there a while until everything is dry and then it flies away. So this morning we saw the dragonfly, but now it's flown away, but it left this skeleton behind. I'm going to see if I can attach it again. Whoa, are you all right? Whoa.
going to end up here. This helps you pedal, but it also makes sure you know where this end is so you're not hitting the person next to you. Now to pedal, put it in in front of you and then pull. And then just lift it gently, not high, and do it again. Coming up beyond this Mr. tree Williams, here. There's two ducks on that log. And they know which hole is theirs where they've got a nest and How? eggs and maybe babies. How? Okay, I will paddle. I'll bring us in a little closer, but not too close. Because I don't want the bottom of the lakes on the mud and they stay under the ice all winter long. Their heartbeat's slower, their breathing is slower, they're reptiles, they're cold-blooded. Oh and you're gonna love this, they do breathe underwater but they don't have gills like fish. They breathe through their butts. And then, during weather like this, they come out on logs sometimes, some days, to warm up because reptiles are cold-blooded. And in order to have the energy to move fast, they have to warm their bodies. They can't warm their bodies like we do. We just automatically warm I don't see any turtles here. I don't either. We haven't been having much luck seeing I didn't turtles. know they could sunbathe. Oh, I see something. All right, let's keep, let's keep looking. Have a seat up there, please. Friendly, you need a second. Look on the logs, see if you see any. I think we saw four this morning. I think I see two or at least one up ahead. the log. This 
This looks good for it's it. It's a pretty shiloh over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, look at it. It's pretty shiloh. Yeah. It sits down at Delaney. Okay, stop picking at it. In the middle of May, like two weeks ago, toads, you know, toads are kind of like frogs. Tip the canoe with you all girls like that. What were you seeing here? A turtle. A turtle. Oh, Keegan. Cool. Sit. Yeah. Oh, cool that there was a turtle. And they they lay eggs. And then this was like two weeks ago. And then the eggs the eggs aren't like chicken eggs. The eggs are in long strings like jelly and little black dot. And then the tadpoles come out. And now the tadpoles are about a week and a half old. And I'll show you some. And there's thousands of them around here. All right, you ready to look? Mm -hmm. No, look in Mr. Williams' hands. Look at these. Oh, there's little tadpoles. These are little toad tadpoles. Oh, I see. Oh, there's another one. Those guys are so small. Yeah.